Yes, sir! It's your boy TC Toe TC Fitness. Hello, I'm gonna show you how I'm with ya. Yo. Yes, sir! Yo. <laughs> yes, sir, we back at it. We back at it again with another Central Park jog. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody. Come a little bit more. See your retention. No fab community. Shout out to everybody retaining worldwide, bro. That's what it's about. Shout out to David. Shout out to Mo. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We here to chop it up with y'all. If y'all gain something from today's video, y'all already know what to do. Hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Truly would appreciate that. Leave your comments below and all that good stuff. Let me know how your retention journey been going. Let me know how your no fat journey been going. Let me know how everything been going. Yeah. What's the first thing I want to talk about today's video, y'all? You was making some good points when you was talking about, you would say you want to talk about spirituality. Aight. Or uh, you said the, uh, the books that you had. Like... Hey. Alright, so cool. First thing we're going to talk about right now is spirituality, right? Where, where can I start? Number one, I need y'all to stop thinking that spirituality is new age, okay? Wow. Stop thinking that, oh, y'all trying to be fake spiritual and all that extra stuff. Let me tell you something right now, right? We are all spiritual beings having a human experience. That's, That's it. That's, That's it. You feel me? So, it's not new age, bruh. This is something that has been around before we was even born. You know what I'm saying? Um, Getting in tune with that inner voice. That's what it's really about. Because we all know that we are always hearing an inner voice, right? And depending on what we experience and who we interact with, will determine how that inner voice interacts with us on our own time. Absolutely. It goes deep. It goes very deep. Now, if you're not trying to grow spiritually, you're doing something wrong. You know what I'm saying? You're a zombie in a meat body just eating zombie food, bro. <laughs> just eating zombie food, bro. But you have to, bro, you got to want to grow spiritually, bro. Stop listening to, to low vibrational music, you feel me? Stop listening to music that's going to, you know, make your spirit feel low. Right. Make you feel like, oh, I got to go out there and go do some drugs or I got to go out there and pop some mollies and stuff. Girl, listen to uplifting music. You know what I'm saying? Frequency. That's a frequency. I was just about to say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You see in alignment. The frequency don't lie, bruh. Yep. You know? The reason why right now we out here jogging is because we are hiring our frequency and our vibrational state of being. All right? We're doing what's best for us. This is the grind. This is the work. This is the journey. This is the experience. You know what I'm saying? Right. This you time right here, man. It's so therapeutic, bro. You so therapeutic. And the endorphins that you get, the endorphins that you getting from running like this is just amazing, especially when you want your, your SR no fab journey. It's important to just like how when you watch those sites and you get that crazy dopamine rush from looking at all of them hundreds of videos, it's important that a lot of y'all looking for a way like how do I reverse that? How do I do something that is good? That can give me the same feeling, but in a healthy way. And endorphins. You have to do intense fitness that involves cardio as well. Things like long distance jogging. Things like, uh, uh, uh. And what's the exercise when you jump in and then you're doing push-ups? Burpees. Burpees. You know, intense cardio exercise where your heart is pumping fast. Blood is flowing. You're getting circulation throughout the body. And then you're, you're getting them endorphins in your in your brain. It feels so amazing. amazing the other day I ran this, uh, I ran Central Park. Um, the whole thing is about six miles total. And the feeling I felt, like from the moment when I did this and stopped, I felt like an anime character. <laughs> and I was ready to do it again. It feels amazing, bro. Mo, you want to speak to him about spirituality or whatever? I want to speak to him about spirituality. Stop thinking that. God is just one person Ooh. that governs the whole entire world, the whole entire universe, the whole galaxy in the non-being. God is energy. God is matter. God is in within. Right. God is your intuition. God is the healthy food that you eat. God is the good music that you listen to. God is almost everything that you see, everything that you hear, everything that you listen to. Everything is a download. Everything is a download, bro. That's if 
you decided to just sit down one day and delete all the friends, delete all the social media, delete all the foods fast for a while. Heavy on the delete the social media. Heavy on the delete the social media because it's different people with different intentions. You don't have your own intention. You don't have your own say so because it's combined with plenty of niggas that's not taking care of themselves. Right. That's why social media back, low key can disintegrate your spirit if you're not using it for the right purpose and you're not following the right type of people. Right. Mainly you gotta do it yourself. Mainly you gotta see what is going on. Meditate, doing yoga. Let me just double up right quick of what you're saying, right? If you're not using the social media tool for your best advantage, then you're using it the wrong way. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? If you if you still trapped in a state of being of focusing on everybody else's life or feeling like you're not crap because you're not getting a certain amount of likes and, and things of that nature, you don't got a certain amount of followers, you're still stuck in that social media cycle. You need to break out of that. You feel me? I'm not telling y'all to not use social media because that's how we connected. We networked through social media, you know? We networked through YouTube. But what I'm telling you is do not allow it to drain you. Yo, you know? From here, see if you got it. Still, you All right, bad, bad. Do not do not allow it to drain you. True say. I'm gonna let them finish talking. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like with social media, the problem is, is that people subconsciously get on social media for validation mm -hmm. right just like how you got weird thoughts that i used to have and i'm sure mo used to have like where you when you get a new outfit you want to make sure that if you wore it already on instagram one you don't want people to catch you wearing it again and number two you don't want to take another picture in that in that outfit and then you see somebody that's doing at least better than you now you think oh i should get this outfit too that's where depression comes in Cause I remember I was 18, 19 years old Seeing niggas my age You know, in a mansion This, that, and the third That's they calling, bro Either that or they showing Only the bed Or less than the bed minimum Of what is really going on in their life Exactly. I'm not hating on them That's good for them, I'm proud of them But usually I would look like Damn, I need to get like that and that's when I'll try OD and do all this extra shit just so I can quote unquote get on their level. But sometimes there's no such thing as a level when it comes to us. We human beings. We you infinite, bro. You can't say level this, level that, or I'm on his level, he not on my level. That's not good. That's not a good thing. Life is not a competition. And my boy, Dr. Uma, was talking about this being in competition with each other, especially in the black community. We're not supposed Sorry. to be in competition with each other. We're supposed to, right. you know, congratulate them either congratulate them work with them or just move on but don't just look at them as competition look yeah, at them as inspiration and you can be your own inspiration too from experience you know using Sir. all the powers from all aspects around just to utilize everything and to make yourself become you know way better right like and i'm gonna tell y'all something man. if you feel any energy from somebody that is not like uplifting you or you feel negative energy from your family they're trying to bring you down in any way from friends, from anybody in your community. Don't take it personal. It's never personal. That's the trick. Understand that they just have bitterness within their spirit and they're not doing enough going within. You know what I'm saying? Especially women that have to always come outside dressing like pretty much a lot of these women subconsciously, they look up to hub stars because they want the same validation that hub stars get. Like, oh, my God, I would do any I would send her any amount of money. Like, yo, somebody in my chat. I'm not going to say who. But y'all know who I'm talking about, right? CMO, how a dude talking about, he, he went on crazy. that. And he he sent her 200 and some dollars to try to crack. And it was some BS site that probably Link came up while he was scrolling through the site. Because he said he had the edging, peaking, relapsing, whatever. And he sent her the 200 and some dollars to try to crack. Because he was a virgin trying to lose his V-card. And then she ended up just taking his bread again low. So, like, yo, for me, like, it's, it's crazy. Y'all yeah, got to be heavy on the protecting y'all energy. You know what I'm saying? True say. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about too. What we talked about earlier, as far as subconscious mind. Subconscious mind. There we go. All right. So, train your subconscious, right? 
You got a conscious and you got a subconscious. The subconscious don't know the difference between what's real and what's fake. So, whether you tell yourself something good or whether you tell yourself something bad, your subconscious really believes it. You feel me? So we're going to start off with this. Start affirming to yourself more positive things. Start affirming to yourself, you know, the type of life that you want to create for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Start creating your own lane instead of following everybody else. Sure. A lot of people can't think for themselves in this reality. They want everybody else to think for them instead of them thinking for back. themselves. So, stay on this, I got you. Yeah. So start off with thinking for yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's number one. Damn, we got the, we got the music in the background. So we don't have to speed it up. So everyone get copyrighted. We out. We not trying to get no copyrights. All right? We not trying to get no copyrights, YouTube. So we got to speed it up a little bit. <laughs> All right, we good. All right, we shit. So like I was trying to say, say good things. When I was younger, my subconscious mind used to believe, literally, that I was anorexic and skinny and I looked like the kids from Africa. I used to really believe that. You know what I'm saying? But this is why I work out Comfy. a lot. This is why I train. This is why I do a lot of calisthenics. This is why I stay in my zone. Because I know that none of that stuff is true. I know that I'm way more powerful than that. You feel me? And that's all that matters. I know my inner power. Somebody else's opinion on me doesn't matter. You know? Right. The more that you train your subconscious to be stronger, the stronger you will be. Your power is internal. All right? Anything outside of you that's trying to tell you you can't, you can't do this, X, Y, and Z, those people do not believe in their energy. That's just facts. And put, you got to put yourself first. That's how you train yourself. Always. Huh? Put yourself Always. first. Because if you allow bad energy around you, then you are pretty much telling yourself and your subconscious that you don't matter enough to prioritize your mental health. So it gets worse. Got to always put yourself first. Tell you, I do what's best for you. You know what I'm saying? Look at the beautiful view. We just out here working. You know? We out here grinding. The grind don't stop. You know what I'm saying? You gotta step out that comfort zone. You know? But for anybody out there, I was born premature. One pound, nine ounces, six months. You feel me? And that's why I was so skinny. I know that extra stuff. But here I am, healthy, talking to y'all today. You feel me? God is amazing. God is amazing. We working though, y'all. What else y'all wanna talk about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be honest, right? Me as a vegan, a raw vegan, for the most part, what inspired me, like last Sunday when I was out here to like, you know, do my jogging. And what I did was I think I was doing like nine minutes per mile, which is great numbers for somebody that's a beginner, technically a, be a beginner long distance jogger. Nine minutes a mile is great. And I kind of was, Motivating myself by looking at certain people that was ahead of me and I'm like look at this meat eater. I'm about to pass him You know what I'm saying and I was flying past people and I wasn't getting gassed at all I barely was breaking the sweat and I felt inhumane. It felt so amazing. So Push yourself Have fun. It's cool to you know Sometimes get in tune with that little competition that you got within yourself to you know push you because we all coming from a low vibration so sometimes you got to know how to use Low vibrational things to your advantage to help propel you. And that go a little bit deeper, but you know, be safe with that. You know what I'm saying? And make sure, most importantly, that you keep the right people around you. They got the right kind of mentalities. Because what bro was talking about with the subconscious mind is that if you're around the wrong people or you're around toxic people, they are gonna get within your subconscious More and so rot around rotten fruits. Yo. What you said, say it again. Good fruits rot around rotten fruits. That's yeah. a fact. So, and really let that sink in. Sometimes the simplest quotes can say a million things. So understand, like for example, if you in a toxic relationship or you got toxic friends that's low key trying to make you feel like what you doing is not all that. Like you trying to transition from being out of the street mentality but you still got street mentality friends and they trying to make you feel like, yo, like, which, uh, uh, trying to make you feel like what you doing is like weird or whack. 
they not into it be careful with that because we still fragile mentally because we come from a low vibration so if you telling people things that you're passionate about as you just getting in tune with alignment with it what's gonna happen is that these people is gonna like make it harder for you and now you're gonna be battling with yourself because you giving people kicker. you giving people power there's a kicker you know what i'm saying they don't believe in themselves that's, that's why exactly exactly so subconsciously they always bringing themselves down so what happens is when they get somebody that got a stronger mentality meaning the mentality that they could have had but they didn't work hard enough to get slash keep because just because you get it don't mean you're gonna keep it Heavy. you know what i'm saying so make sure that you just be careful the company that you keep that is just as important as the fitness and the work that you put in Back to my mid T. Talk to him, bro. We got some gems in this video, y'all. I just need y'all to tap in. All right? Y'all already know that we working. The grind don't stop. We in the park. Great vibes. Great energy. Getting this dopamine flowing. It trades me in this powerful energy. It's our best selves. It's been 16 minutes. We grinding. If y'all enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, coach! Yes, sir. Make sure you leave your comments below. We got more content coming in on the vibes. Grind on stop. It's your boy TC Talks.